All right, guys, let's put in some work into the B8S4 today. So today I want to install some LED license plate lights that I bought off of Amazon right here from I, IJDM Toy. Um, if you guys want to purchase this set too, I'll link the link down below. But anyways, I want to replace the OEM one on the BAS4 because, you know, the OEM ones is uh, kind of dull and not that bright in color. And uh, <clears throat> with the new LED ones, it's going to be much brighter and a much cleaner and better color of light compared to the OEM one. So like I said, I did purchase this set off of Amazon. I did read the reviews and the reviews said that they're nice, but they're super bright. So some of them, some people don't like that and some do. And I think that I'll be okay with it because I think that the benefits to it being very bright is maybe at nighttime, it could help you out, help me out with some visibility in the back when you know, you're know you backing up or whatever. But let me show you what it looks like. So it looks like it comes with two different kinds of pigtails. I believe one is for like Volkswagen and the other is for Audi. So I just gotta figure out which one is the correct one for the B8. And then the whole bulb housing itself here. That's what they look like. Just add some two connectors back there. I guess just gotta figure out which connector that goes to. But yeah, let's get this started and installed on the B8S4. Uh, I'm gonna first, since I wanna show it um, you know, when it's dark, I'm just gonna do it in the garage, close the garage, and show you guys the difference from there because right now it's still bright. So, let me go ahead and pull out the B7R4 and pull in the B8S4 into the garage. <laughs> All right guys, so before I get these LED license plate bulbs installed on my BAS4, I just wanna say it'd be great if you guys can help support my channel and to follow the build by subscribing to my channel. All you guys gotta do is hit that red subscribe button right under this video. Thanks guys. All right, so let's take a look at what stock looked like. Close the garage, turn the light on real quick. and hit the lights so that's what stock looked like kind of dull uh, brightness is not that bad because it shows you the license plate pretty good still but the led would have a much better um, color of light and uh, brightness output so now let me go ahead and get one side installed and show you guys the difference with the new LED bulbs and one old um, LED license plate bulb in there. So I'm just gonna swap out one side and show you guys the difference. So let me go ahead and get one side in first. I just got the driver's side installed and it's working. Now let me close the garage Put these lights on and show you guys the difference of the LED bulbs versus the stock OEM bulbs in the dark. You can, uh, you guys can already see the difference right there. But let me hit the lights, and there it is. Crazy, super bright. Look at the ground. That's just only one side on. <laughs> Jeez, that's super bright. Gosh, might as well have some freaking headlights in the rear. Jeez. And there it is. That's heck of I don't know. 
let me know what you guys think down in the comments below what you guys think about the difference there it's crazy anyways now let me show you guys how i install them with showing you guys how i install it on the passenger side okay guys don't mind the mess on the table that makes me look really bad and i feel really bad about that anyways let's jump right into getting these installed so first thing i'm gonna do is show you guys what the stock um bulb and housing and setup looks like so if you guys look here look for the side that has that little uh rectangular slot there that's going to be the side that you're going to have to push let's see on the here push to the right and then pull down and then it should just be able to pop out so like i said pay attention to that rectangular slot use a flathead or whatever type of um you know flat tool to help you push this whole housing to the right and then pull down and it should be able to come out so let me go ahead and show you guys on the passenger side okay so let's get to popping the old one out so like i said i'm just gonna use the flathead put it at the end of this um housing of the license plate uh ball holder push it to the right at the same time pull it down and this one should be able to come out after that you have this little uh, connector here you just press on each side and pull it out and that guy is out so of the two harness that they supplied um you will be needing to use this one here for the b8 like i said i think this one's like for volkswagen because that's what it stated in the ad but let's put that one to the side and this is like i said this is the one that you need to install on your b8 s4 or whatever other model b8s but this was one or part of the install that I didn't like because the harness is actually uh, not a direct plug and play. Um, as you can see, or as I will show you here, this part of the portion, this portion, oh, it's not clear, but this side of the harness actually pops into this slot here. You see, it's kind of weird that they have two slots to uh, pop in the connector. So on the other one, I popped it into this, the larger side of the, the, the connector side here. So that you would just pop in there and it would just go in there. It's not like a direct fit shape wise, but it'll stay from when installing the other one. And this side here, these two prongs here will go into the stock uh, harness at the trunk. Um, what I did notice was that these two pins are actually a little bit too close to each other. So I did have to spread it out spread both of them a little bit more apart from each other which was one of the part that i didn't really like in addition to that um it was actually not that secured inside of the harness at the trunk so uh, i did have to ghettoly uh, apply some electrical tape to have them hold together so let me go ahead and separate the two prongs uh, a little bit and I'll show you what how far apart I separated them but first let me show you what it actually looks like before installing them or before separating the prongs so I'm trying my best here to hold it all together but here's the stock and here's there you guys see this it's not spread wide enough so like I said you're gonna need to spread the spread the prongs uh, a little bit farther apart. So here is how much I spread apart the two prongs. Jeez, it's not focusing, but it's ever so slightly. So just compare and you know try it out into your um, stock harness at the trunk. But now let's go ahead and install these. So like I said, there's two sides to installing the other end of the harness onto the uh, LED housing, which is kind of weird. Like I said, I installed it into the larger side, just like that. Now, let's plug this into the harness at the trunk. And just be careful. There's like another two little uh, uh, other end of the problem that you can just slide it into. Just like that. Now, let's go test and see if the light comes on. Yeah. 
and as you guys can see there it is on so let me first before popping this into the uh, um, slot let me um, like I said apply some electrical tape so that this section of the harness is secure onto the other side of the harness so here's my little ghetto uh, electrical tape wrap now I'll just stuff it inside of there and let's go ahead and install the LED bulb and housing. So this only goes in one way. If you see here, you see I was kind of uh, chamfered on each end here, or you know, have a little cut. And on this side here, it's just a straight square. It only goes in one way. So first, slide it to this side, and then just push this side in, and it'll, it'll click and pop in. <laughs> Sorry, it didn't click in, but now it's in. So. Now, let's take a look at it with both installed in the dark. Close up this garage. Let's go turn the lights on. And so, hella bright already. And let's turn this lights off. Dang, brighter than I had actually expected. Crazy. Jeez. <laughs> Check that out. Gosh. Super, super bright. Those reviews on Amazon, they weren't lying. Not that bad, though. Um, I feel, I still feel like it's actually better than OEM. But gosh, those are light. Hopefully, uh, I don't get in trouble for that, actually, when driving at night. But let me know what you guys think, guys, in the comments down below. Too bright? Not that bad, or I need to find another set of LEDs that are actually not this bright. But I mean, it is what it is if you buy it from Amazon, and them being like a I would call a universal fit, not a direct fit. I mean, the housing was a direct fit into the slot, but just harness wise, um, that seemed like it was universal. But there it is, guys LED. License plate bulbs install on a B8 model Audi. So these bulbs are supposed to be error-free LED bulbs. And when I turned on the lights with the LED bulbs installed the two times, um, no error had came up. So I guess we'll see um, as time goes by if I get any error um, for the uh, license plates uh, bulbs. So if you guys have any further questions of these LED bulbs installed, um, just comment it down below and I will try my best to help you guys out. Anyways, that's going to end it for this video here, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to help support my channel. Comment any sort of feedback to help my channel grow. And like this video if you guys find it helpful. Thanks, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.